you about today's project. It's a fun little one. I have purchased this globe lamp at an antique barn and uh, it originally came with a, a chain and it was meant designed to be a swag lamp that plugged into the wall. I'm going to use it as a pendant lamp hanging from the ceiling so I need to rewire the lamp to, um, to do that. Uh, I have my tools here. I have a wire stripper, some needle nose pliers, wire cutters, Phillips screwdriver, and a keyless socket. This comes in three parts and um, I eventually will also need a canopy kit so that I have something to feed my wire through and connect it to the junction box in the ceiling. So that's for later. I'll set that aside. This, this wire or this cable has two wires in it and it's meant to separate. So I just have a little snip at the bottom there. You can see that I have two pieces now. I'm just going to separate them let's say about four inches down. This is a threaded rod that came with the lamp to begin with. Uh, if you need them, they are easily found in the hardware store. And um, some lamp nuts that go that are meant to go on these. So this also came with the lamp. So I hardly had to purchase anything new. Just the, the keyless socket and the canopy. So the first thing I need to do is feed my wire through this rod. doesn't really matter where the rod ends up. Then I'll feed the cap, the top cap of the keyless socket onto my wire. And right now I'm just going to expose, expose the ends of each wire. Remove the insulation surrounding it with a wire cutter. So the wire cutter is meant to dig into the plastic coating but not cut through the filaments that are inside. There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll remove the second, the end of the second uh, wire little twist of the fingers. I've got it off. Okay, so two wires. Now, you'll notice on the socket there's a gold and a silver screw. In our cable, both wires are identical, so it does not matter which one you put these on. If this was a polarized, going into a polarized socket, and there was one fat prong and one skinny prong, then it would matter which one they go on. But in our case, it does not. So, this is where I get my needle nose pliers. And I just make a nice little J hook on the end of each. Get my Phillips screwdriver, loosen each of these screws. It's really simple. You'll want your hook to wrap in a clockwise direction so that when you tighten the screw, you're actually pulling the wire into that rotation. Make sure they're good and snug. Then it's simply a matter of fitting the interior component into the cover of the socket. And then this gets threaded together. I can trim my cable 
but make sure you have enough. This this third piece of the of the socket just just screws on like this and gives us a nice tidy finish. Now it's just a matter of threading everything back the way it came from. So this threaded rod is just going to be the spacer between uh, the top of this decorative trim. And to stabilize everything, once it's in there, picture, this is how it was done originally, so I'm just putting it right back the way I got it. This is what we're going to hook our chain to eventually, but by putting two threaded nuts on to our light fixture, they're actually going to lock each other in place. attach it with the three screws. I will uh, use the, the chain the light came with. I've already opened up a section of it. I'll eventually weave this cable in through here and that's basically it.